Here we go. All right, here we are, almost Halloween. It's still kind of dark out this morning. The light is shifting. Day of the dead, spirits are talking. There's so much going on. Star energy coming in, just so much in the cosmos. And kind of as I was saying before I hit the record, there is a lot of energy, a lot of tension building up in the universe, a lot of tension, a lot of solar flares, a lot of uneasiness and rest. And we are coming back around to a lot of energy that got suppressed. She also was talking about this during COVID, like how we all got like so depressed, we got shut down. And now we're all like, especially light workers and energy people are all like really kind of feeling this tension going on. It's like, we're doing this work, but like what's going on in the universe? So it is a chance for us to really, and we'll do this today too, is continue to hold the light. Continue to recognize like within you, what is that light? What is that energy? Even beyond the political, all of that stuff, the wars in the Middle East, all of this is coming to a head. And so for us, it's a matter of really not letting ourselves get caught in all of that and thinking despair and thinking, oh, there's just darkness and what's going to happen, but really opening up and just holding a vibration of consciousness and light and expansion of consciousness, especially like Take your messages seriously. If you get messages from the star people or you get these crazy dreams, like, okay, this is a chance for me to really expand my own state of consciousness so that I can help lift the vibration that is going on. This book that she wrote, it's about the alchemy of the nine dimensions. Y'all have heard me talk about five dimensions a lot, but she really breaks it down into understanding how we can access all of these dimensions at any given time. And the way do we do it is the work that we're doing now. It's like through meditation, through getting still, through getting out. So important what she said, through not stuffing down our emotional traumas. She said the emotional energy, and that just resonates so much with me, is so important because as we process our emotions and really deal with those traumas, that's how we lift the vibration. But the more we stuff them down, the more that we just push them away and don't deal with them, the more we stay stuck and we can't lift that vibration. So I know for many of us, I know I cry. I was leading the meeting the other day and tears were pulling down. I was standing up for who I was, right? And I know many of you have emotional bodies like I do. And it's like, it's okay. Keep processing your emotions. Keep allowing yourself to cry to whatever it is for you to come up. But the, the more you can allow yourself to work through them, the quicker they will clear and the quicker that you will allow yourself to expand your own state of consciousness. And I thought that was just so brilliant because we, we're brought up to not process emotions. We're brought up just to get over it. Put your, my mother, right? Cindy can attest to this. Put your big girl panties on and lipstick and just forget about it. But we want to process that. We don't want to wallow in it. and We don't want to pull ourselves down, but we want to recognize and then use the tools that we have, especially tapping, especially tapping. I've been working with a, um, a tapping woman. I always go back to my coaches, right? Carol Look, she has a new book out. And so in her group, we started working on the idea of abundance, tapping for abundance, but so much comes up underneath that idea, the worthiness, the visibility, all of these things that come up that for me, a lot of it was way back little as we're tapping and she's helping me. It's like, wow, this is such an old imprint for my family, for my generational family, from even being Jewish, be quiet. Don't show anybody who you are. Stay invisible. And here I keep wanting to get visible, wanting to get visible. So whatever it is for you, whatever those emotions are for you, bring them up today if you can. And as we go through the tapping rounds, I may be saying some words, maybe they resonate, maybe they don't. But whatever you find those emotions are for you that keep you stuck, that keep spinning in your mind, that's what we want to clear. We want to be able to open up, hold the idea of being in light. Being that idea of like, okay, I am working through, I recognize I have these emotions, but I am allowing my soul to open up. And we will definitely do that end of the tapping round where we lift the emotions and we appreciate who we are. Very important that we have that as well. But as we do our inner work and we hold our light, it helps everybody around us. Don't underestimate the power of your own soul. Don't underestimate it. She said something in there too about like, 
Like, I'm just as good. She was saying this. She's an elder. She's in her 80 something. She's like, yeah, I'm just as good as Bill Gates or Bo what whoever, whoever you're like wanting to be as good as, right? And we both kind of snickered at that. But the point is, is like, nobody is any better than your own soul. Your soul is what's so important right now to manifest anything that you want to manifest. But we so quickly give our power away. So as we move through the tapping rounds, we're going to tune in and take some breathing and we'll move through the tapping rounds. Notice what that is for you and allow your words, your emotions to be freed and so that you can hold the light, lift the vibration, raise the consciousness for you and all those around you. All right. So just notice how that resonates for you. Let's find something to light. I did hit record. So take a nice deep inhale and exhale, calling in the element of fire for transmutation, calling in the spirit, the soul, noticing the element of air, clearing the mind, clearing the space, calling in the element of water to wash through and open up the emotions, any that are stuck. Calling in the element of earth, grounding, centering, anchoring you now with our beautiful mother earth. Taking another deep inhale, expand the breath up the body and exhale, bringing that breath all the way down, calling all your energy into you, call it in. Inhale, expanding the breath up the body and as you exhale, calling in absolute light, streams of grace to start moving these emotions, moving this energy all the way down, opening your heart. Inhale, expanding the breath up the body. And as we exhale, dropping into the heart, right into the deepest part of your heart, feeling that connection, your spirit, the greater spirit. God, creator, know that you are loved, guided, protected, provided for, trust as you feel all this energy coming in around you, opening your heart as we call in our Reiki masters, our teachers that have come before us, calling in the archangels for that joy and love to fill your heart, overflow it. Calling in the crystal beings, amusement, magnification. Calling in your higher self right above the crown to help you receive the messages of your emotions for your growth, your light. Take another deep inhale, expanding the breath up the body. And as you exhale, feel it coming in above the crown first through the crown, into the body, through the first chakras, the legs, the feet, deep down all the way to the core of Mother Earth, opening up this channel. So this is how we open up the dimensions of who we are. Inhale, breathing all the way up from the core of the earth, through the body, through the spine, through the crown, up into the higher dimensions. And exhale, breathing back down. And now from the heart, expanding as you take that next breath all around you front side back side exhale breathing it all the way back in and again inhale expand the breath all around exhale pulling it back in and again inhale expanding the breath all around Exhale, pulling it right back into the heart. Pausing right here in the heart. Just noticing for you right now. Here we are, the thinning of the veils. The time is changing, the light is shifting. Find ourselves in the direction of the west. What are you noticing? What are you noticing right now in your thoughts? in your emotions and how you hold your body and in your spirit, what are you noticing? What are those old emotions that keep pulling you down, that keep you stuck, 
spinning the same grooves over and over. Bring them up. Feel what those emotions are. If you can give it a name, give it a name. If not, just feel what the emotions are. Feel that intensity for you. Noticing on that scale, on a scale of one to 10. Noticing. We're gonna begin tapping using your words. If they match with mine are great. If not, use your own. Right here at the Karate Chop, even though I feel all these emotions and I'm not quite sure what they are, but I choose to love and accept myself. Even though I feel all these emotions inside of me, all I want to do is stuff them down and not deal with them, but I choose to love and accept where I am no matter what. Even though I'm full of emotions, lots of times I get mad at myself for all these emotions. Because all I want to do is stuff them down and not deal with them. But they are a gift. And I choose to love and accept myself, no matter what. It's moving point to point, right at the eyebrow. I have all these emotions side of the eye and many times they pull my energy underneath the eye down into darkness underneath the nose feeling I have no way out feeling like mankind has no way out right now there are so many struggles all around me it's hard to keep my energy lifted And I continue to struggle with the same old things over and over. I feel the lack. I feel the darkness. I feel they're not good enough. And I just keep spinning the same grooves. When the F am I going to let it go? Part of it is just acknowledging and allowing myself to feel them. But I don't want to. I'd rather push them down or maybe just complain or just feel trapped, feel in lack or the same old things I tell myself. It's hard. Life sucks. Look at what's going on all around us. See, I'm right. Everything is dark. So much fighting in the world, in families. It's really hurting. So much loss all around. But if I stay in this loss, this low vibration, my soul suffers. There is a part of me that wants to let go, that wants to get out of my own way. And maybe I do. I get inspired, but then I get stuck again. But that is part of being human. I am human, but my soul is deep inside of me, yearning for a freedom from all these constraints. I put on myself. It's time to feel the feels, to receive the messages from all these emotions instead of blocking them. 
I'm the one that judges my soul. But really, my soul is just here to learn. And so I can choose to let go of the judgments that I put on myself or that others put on me so that I can learn and allow my soul to lift its vibration because I know deep down I am full of love and possibility and I know I bring so much goodness to everyone around me and even though I sometimes forget myself. I recognize right now, it is myself that gives. And so in this very moment, I can acknowledge all that I do, all that I give, all that I help, just by showing up wholeheartedly and so I choose to continue to shine my light no matter what my soul is my light my soul is so pure it's the humanness in the fourth dimension that stresses us out, the shoulds, the religious constraints, all that. And so I choose to be true to myself so that I can shine my light which I trust and know it will help others. Even without doing, my light can shine through and be an inspiration. Even if it doesn't feel like it with all the chaos around me, I can trust the light, the consciousness, of my soul that has a love, a purity, a kindness, a joy in just wanting to live my purpose, to be wholeheartedly open to my experiences of growth without judgment. I shine my light. I shine my light last round. I shine my light, opening my heart, holding that vibration for me. And I trust as I hold that vibration for me, it will shine all around me. For I choose to shine my light no matter what. Back to the karate chop, I choose to love and accept myself no matter what. Take a deep breath, hold the breath. And exhale all the way down. Just take a pause right in the heart, notice how you feel. Feel the light, feel your heart. Bring the hands right up to the chest. Namaste Mudra. Take a moment of gratitude for your soul, your light, for being a part of consciousness right now, helping others. Gratitude. 
to the soul, the connection to the greater soul, spirit, God. Gratitude for showing up for you. Inhaling and exhaling all the way down deep into Mother Earth, grounding, centering, feeling the heart open. Feel the illumination of the third eye, the calmness all around. And as you're ready, blinking the eyes back open, coming back. So stay in this light as much as you can over this next week. New moon, Friday morning, big one, Scorpio. See you then. Namaste.